What's up, everyone? I am Magicide, and welcome back to our Geek Fest here, playing Europa Universalis 4 as the Yabguids. So we had an extra long episode the last time that I think I'm going to end up breaking into two different separate episodes. We're gearing up here to take out Holland, because we got the mission for it. And then, obviously, we're going to end up having to attack the Kershereeds again. But I don't want to do that quite yet, um, for a couple reasons. The main reason is I really want these cores to finish first. So that's going to be 63. Okay, so in about a year and a few months, we'll have all of our cores. I want to get that done and out of the way first, because I really don't want to have to deal with Rebels. The other thing is, is that we have all of our armies in this area. Uh, I'm trying to just absolutely bum rush this dude's army. I don't want to have to face Merc Spam. Wait, we got a Kershreed province right there. So why don't we actually break off one of these guys? The Merc Spam shit sucks. So it looks like these guys are... ...continuing to explode, which is great. I'm definitely all about that. I'm totally okay with these guys imploding, including our one vassal. Yeah, because every time he blows up, basically it's going to give us these little one province miners for one, and then for two, it's going to reduce his uh, liberty desire. Like, pretty soon we might be actually be able to just straight up start annexing him, but I'm not going to do that because we're still behind on tech. Now about these guys. So I'm going to wait. You know what? I don't want to really make these guys tributaries and whatnot because I want to wait until... I have, potentially have the mission to actually take them out. And if we take a look at our, our current groups. Let's see here, we can demand additional tribute, get some money. Man, this, he's just so expensive. You know what, I'm not gonna keep paying off his debt because we need that money for the actual institutions. Okay, so we're all ready to go there. And then we're going to take this guy and just split him up. Once we actually declare the war. The other good part about it is, is that, you know, our manpower is actually recovering. Which is great. So it's going to be a little while before we do this again. Oh, I could get another claim over here. Let's get on Limousine. Because that's uh, got some pretty decent... Whatchamacallum? Um, development. And as soon as our dude comes home here, depending on when that is, actually, we're, we're going to have a couple more months. So what I think I'll do is I'll do like a round of trying to make my uh, vassals like me a little bit more. Yeah. Be really nice to get rid of this re religious unity problem. Okay, it looks like Perineo. This place. Got some rebel problems over here. So let's uh, activate the fort, first of all. Supply limit is 12. So how big are these guys? 11k. Okay, well... Give me all the cav. So we want 5 infantry. And that's getting pretty close. Might as well stick an army over here. does look like the Kershereeds might actually end up imploding a little bit here. Okay, let's, uh... 
Let's do my allies, I suppose. And if I can only get my cogs over here... You know, if we attack the uh, Uwasids, we're going to be able to attack Galicia, which is really great, because once we attack Galicia, then we'll have sight on all these sea provinces, and that means we can actually move in our transports to come over here and pick up our armies. So speaking of which, you know what I should do in the meantime is probably move these armies down so they're actually in a position to be picked up. Although there's nothing I can do about them, I'm just going to straight up have to go get them. So I think it was October that we're able to declare the war. This is finally starting to tick down because the enforced religion is slowly going away. Besides, I'm not really quite done with feeding them some territory. I'd really like to take out the uh, big Timurids and feed them this stuff. And these guys are my vassal. So I could feed them a little bit more. The manpower is slowly recovering. Okay, there's one more. Outstanding. And then I think we should really start focusing on China here. They're not really a problem right because they don't have any of their mandates i'm just surprised that they're they are getting they haven't done any of their their reforms what i'm wondering though is is that how how are they able to actually control their land i mean i'm surprised they're not like getting eaten alive by by rebels and whatnot because i remember when mandate of heaven came out they mentioned that if Ming doesn't actually, if they have the low, um, what is it, mandate points, and they're not able to pass any of the reforms, basically they're supposed to, they're supposed to implode. All right, so why don't we uh, send you home, and then we'll get this war started here. So are you maxed out. 98.08. Wow. Almost. We get another Splendor ability. So I'm thinking about the... War taxes. I'm not really worried about that. I'm thinking probably either the Transfer Subject or the Justify Wars. Hmm. I think I'm going to do this, because that makes the most sense. I'm trying to avoid the aggressive ex uh, expansion nonsense. Or maybe it's overextension. Whatever. So we're going to get another tick of uh, training here with our one army here. So how close are we going to be? Let's pause the game here. There we go. 99.75. So one of our generals has died. And there we go. All of our cores are finished. Okay, so why don't we actually get a general in here? And let's declare our war. Okay, so you're going to arrive on the 7th, you're going to arrive on the 6th, so we're going to hold up here. And, uh, okay, they, the other guys haven't joined in yet. There they are, okay. So there we go. Let's get this started. Keep the game paused, make sure that we actually have everything that we need. Um, actually, you know what I should do? Instead of putting Magicide here, let's get my Siege Commander in there first. 
Okay, so you're gonna arrive on the 7th. And the 8th. Okay, there we go. Perfect. And then I think we'll probably put, say, Magicide over here. Come in here, get that province. You guys can get that. Let's see here. That's my one ally. guys are gonna sit on that fort and I don't remember was there any okay we had this that little province right there same thing with this one you guys can finally take my other general here go and deal with that I think uh, we're good let's uh let's let's give it a go here We're going to be able to take some more land from the Kershreeds. Oh, you want to know something? It's a goddamn Conquest War. Shit, I should have done the superiority. Oops. Alright, Detach Siege. Go mess them up a little bit more. Huh. I actually have two provinces here, so... That being said... It's fine. Take it out. Alright, you guys... Take my general and come back up. Wipe him out. So I thought I put you guys on slightly damaged. So they should actually, I think, go back to the port and heal. Shit, I'm not going to be able to actually go over here because they're, they're ships. Son of a bitch. unfortunate. Alright. Taking out all of his little provinces here. It's perfect. Okay, all these these little areas that I've already taken over I'm going to start moving up the armies to start to siege this stuff out. Like these guys I need to go over. Okay, you're done. Okay, you can... Actually, you could probably go over here and help out with that. Since we actually have... The amount of troops that we need over here to begin the siege. Nice, we got a wall breach over here. Okay, you guys can go there. Wait. What the fuck? Wow. Okay. That sucked. They had this huge rebel stack that just spawned right on top of me. So what I could do is actually take my heavies. And unmothball them. 
and then come over here and deal with our navy. Might do that. So we got lose local unrest. <clears throat> Monthly autonomy changed. Um, shit. That means we're probably going to get some some rebels here. I guess we're just going to lose the power. That sucks. Uh-oh. Starting to get some nasty attrition. Alright, you know what we could do is probably say, stick Magicide back over here to get that last little tick of, uh, drill. Okay, Koshor is done. Guess we'll go over there. Alright, so I'm, I'm curious. So we're now a Charismatic Negotiator. So you guys should have full... Awesome. So you guys don't need to drill anymore. I can stand you down. And what I will do, I'll start to drill these guys. How does our professionalism look now? We're getting there. Kind of, sort of. Salaried soldiers. And what was the last time? I think it was 67. It is. Okay. Very well. Alright, let's get this other stack to come down here. I'm really hoping these Separatists don't really move. I think... I, I'm really hoping that they just kind of stay put. Although there's probably the possibility that they're actually going to come over to this province as well. Which is not very good. So we had another general somewhere. Right, right over here. What was the general actually have? He's got some stuff that I don't need. So I'm going to just uh, take off the general. Because we don't need them with the siege. So we got French separatists. And Anjou. Urgh. How big are they going to be? French separatists. 11k. Okay. Well. 15 supply limit. Alright. It's going to be all of them. So let's see. Four. No, five more. Yeah, we're going to have to micromanage our armies because we definitely have some more troops that we could definitely train. Oh, motherfucker. These guys are wandering around here. Uh, I think what we should probably do is turn on these forts just in case for the moment. So he gets kind of trapped in here. And we take this, uh, the R1 leader that isn't doing us any good. Okay, you guys are gonna go to no tech. All right. So we're gonna let our heavies actually recover a little bit. And then we're gonna go over there and raffle stomp his, his navy. drilling. Come on down here. Alright, so I'm really just trying to pay attention to these guys. Didn't realize they still had an army walking around. So, gain a level 2, or skill 2, Grand Captain. Okay. <laughs> their pretender rebels are killing off their their separatists. That's funny. <laughs> I 
Yep, they came over here and did, did exactly what I was kind of thinking that they were going to do. Just hoping that they don't actually cross my territory. And start to siege some of this stuff out, or even attack my army. That would suck. You guys can be right up there. So how's my, uh, how are my heavies looking? Oh, they look great. Yeah. So now Navara exists. There's N Navara. Wow. So they only exist in that one province. Okay. See, this is why I'm glad I actually turned on this fort. Now we can smash the rest of his military. Military. Siege of Kazan is over. Fantastic. And we managed to crush them so we can turn off these forts again. So we can stop paying for them. And then we'll take this army to say, come over here to Pilsen. Actually, truth be told, what's the supply limit here? 16. Actually, let's get our, our cav. Guess we'll start to train these guys. God damn it. See, they're doing exactly what I, I thought they were going to do. Shit. Okay, you guys can group up. And then, uh... These people here. Let's give you... Actually, I take that back. Well, you guys got a general down there. Never mind. I want to keep drilling away. Okay, you guys got... Full, full uh, morale here. So we're going to be fighting in mountains, unfortunately, and dry lands. All right. Now you're really got to pay attention to these uh, these separatists over here. Where are you guys at? Yeah, these guys. Otherwise, I might have to abandon that this siege here, and that would suck. It's nice to see that these guys are going to actually split because they can't actually do anything about these this uh, this army here. Wow, we must have taken some massive damage here. All right, gentlemen, let's take out this last province here and uh, kick the shit out of their navy. Matter of fact, probably use a couple more reinforcements. Yeah, why don't you guys come down there and help out? Oh, well, we're dead. So that's the end. That's the end of this episode. That's the end of our playthrough. So I got a total of seven episodes. So our new heir to the throne is Magicide. Let's take a look. And Magicide sucks balls. Wow. And he's got a weak claim. Yeah, we're gonna... Fit minus 50 prestige. Ouch. We're gonna disinherit him. There's just no way. Wait, what do you mean? Wait, was that my error? No, I'm still alive. It was my heir that died. That's who died. That's what it was. Ah, okay. Never mind. That's not the end of the episode then. I'm sorry. It was my heir that died. It was Brett that died. Not Magicide. Although somehow, some way, we're still kicking, so... 
good news on that front. Okay, we finally got our war goal here. Actually, let's uh, keep you guys there. And just actually have you guys drill. them. Let's actually have you guys come back up to Asturias. Looks like our one rubble is definitely going to pop. Okay, what's the deal? God damn it. I am going to have to abandon the siege. Motherfucker. At least I got out of there in time. I knew that shit was going to happen. I knew it. I'm going to lose some more prestige. All right, why don't you guys come down here? Oh man, I'm so glad I actually caught him. Okay, uh, let's take out this one, this uh, Catholic province. So I'm gonna try to get down uh, the ones that are actually, get down the soonest, so that way we can not experience so much of a heavy religious unity problem. All right, there's one more down. Wait, who's our... Wow. <laughs> the Grenadian, Grenadian Separatists are actually going to come down here and troll my ally. That's some bullshit. Oh well. They can deal with it. Don't care. Sowie! Okay, so the Josh Karids have... Uh, Josh Nakarids have embraced feudalism. Which means that we should be that much closer to actually receiving it ourselves. Slowly, slowly but surely, it's coming. Man. This is going to take us forever. Like, we're getting there. We're getting there. How about the uh, feudalism? Like, that should be on its way as well. Whatever. We'll get there in time. So it looks like every time we get that pop-up saying that we get some sort of CB, it means that they somebody split. These guys split off. The Musades? Because I think these guys were part of my, my allies, if I'm not mistaken. So I think right now, we have this fort here, and these guys are going to take out that fort. So we got two forts that we're waiting on right now. It's fine. We can wait. They have no more military. So we're good to go. While well, we constantly just drill, drill, drill away. Matter of fact, so we just lost another general. I'd really like to take this fort out. So if I took off, say, this unit, see what kind of generals I still have left. Nice. Should have probably done this a little sooner. All right, so what I'm going to do since we're a little ways away from actually having their navy come out and me finishing the siege, I'm going to give them at least a tick of repairs. I know that dropped down our siege progress down here a little bit. Wow. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, this is a province down here. Oh my god.
That's what it was the entire time. That's where he was spawning units from. Um, well... I don't know. Let's try to cut him off. So if my one general died, it was uh, the group that was actually... It was this these guys. Uh, I guess we'll get another general. Three shock. Okay, so I'm gonna need to fork over another one stack to come over here and deal with that. Wait, what? When the hell was this gonna actually happen? Uh, okay. So why don't we give you guys, uh, say Magicide. So if we die with an air... Excellent. So if we die without an air, I think somebody in our family is going to take over, but I think, if I'm not mistaken, they're going to have a weak claim. Which means that there's going to be pretender rebels. Okay, so if my one siege over there was finished, why don't we do the same thing? Take this man. Take our one general. Our one siege general, that is. And slide him back over. Okay, there's our, our naval battle. Very good. Come on, hurry up. There we go. You guys come back over there. And then what about their navy? Okay, they're, they're gonna get blasted again here. Oh, god damn it. My bad. Forgot to attack the rebels. I have no idea where the hell these guys came from. I didn't even see them on my list here. Okay, killed their navy again. Where's their navy going to? Sea of Marmara. Let's go follow them. Because I don't believe they have anywhere to go to. Wait, what? Streets of Messina. Here, we've got some more claims. Wait, what? Separatists? Oh, never mind. They're taking over all this shit. You bastards! So let's make sure we're not getting attrition over here. Because we are. Alright, I think we can actually get our peace now. So this group, you guys can take uh, Magicide back and start to drill. All right, let's uh, let's do our piece here with uh, the Kershreeds first. I really want to get this territory over here. Thinking, really, you won't do that? I'm sure, if I give it a little bit more time. Hmm. Is there anything else I could take away from these guys? Could take that. I guess we could do that. Yeah, I could care less about all those people. How about your money? Can I get war reps? Is that possible? Can we have you revolt cores? No? Okay. Looks good to me. 
It's just we'll have to take uh, bite-sized pieces out of this guy. Okay, so we're going to be black flagged all over the place. Oh, speaking of which, what we should do, first of all, burn it to the ground. We did... Oh, it was this province here. Alright. Let's core our shit. You're black flagged. Okay, we already know you are. You're moving. Okay, so it's just those two groups. Now, as far as our heavies... Send you to uh, Calabria. And then I'll just uh, mothball you again. Really don't need you. So, I don't understand this. They're supposed to repair. You know what? I'm gonna actually send them in so they can get some repairs. It might take them two ticks to do it. Son of a bitch. Motherfuckers. Guys go protect trade in Genoa once again. Ah, so they are moving. So I'm actually just gonna go over here and straight up annihilate them. So Badahoff. Let's see here. You have rivers that go from everywhere except for Cordoba. Alright. So why are we losing money? All right, let's take our piece from these guys. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Do the same thing. Burn it to the ground. And start making that core. Convert Mermegrela. Megrela, yeah. Whatever the fuck. Meg. Megra. So, is it even a possibility for me to do this? Take 27 months. I think we could do that. Let's take that mission. Sure. That's a heart saver game as well. I was really hoping for some better missions because these guys keep splitting and pooping out these, like, one province miners and whatnot. And I'd be really, I'd really love to actually just start wiping them out. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to take care of these guys once and for all. I really don't want to be overextended here. That's something we absolutely have to watch out for. Otherwise, I would really like to declare war on the Uwasids. They're in my crosshairs. They're the ones that I actually have claims on. Although, I think in the meantime... I think what I'm going to do is we're going to fabricate a claim over here on these guys. Uh, let's see here. Build a spy network. Yes. Do we have a claim? Unless we already have a claim. No. Don't have a claim. Okay. Um, all right. We'll split you guys up. So that's what? Eight?
You guys were supposed to drill. I guess we could take this other 8k stack. To come on down. Actually, can you guys, uh... Possibly go around? Yeah, do something like that. So you're not running into that other stack and getting attrition. Please. Please. Jesus Christ, man. What are we, like 65 now? 64. Still kicking it. Very surprised. Right, you guys can go back to drilling, by the way. Okay, so it looks like the actual... The drill actually goes away over time. Because I had these guys maxed out at 100. Interesting. So what is that... How does that reflect on our... Professionalism? Hmm. I don't know. I was always under the assumption that this would actually tick up a little faster. But apparently not. Boy, I can't wait to go go to war with the uh, with Galicia here, so we can finally get these sea tiles revealed, and then I can pick up my armies over here in in England. Okay, so one of my one of my generals just pooped out on me. It was these guys. Wah wah wah. So the question is, is, what do I do want to do with these guys? This stack here, you know, I could either keep them around or I could start to build up my forces against China. I think I should slowly... Motherfucker, look at this guy. He's going to go right through these goddamn rebels. Dude, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, so stupid. Go that way, fool. Yeah, I'd really like to actually start building up my forces against Wei. So we could eventually blast them. Still don't have an air. Not entirely certain if Brett's going to actually be able to play as a Brett. I could marry somebody. I'm not really entirely certain the way it works. If I approach another country about getting married, I think we're able to name the heir because it'll be our heir. But if they approach us, it'll be their heir. I think that's the case. Maybe I should do that. So you can be improved 98 more? Yeah, let's uh, just send you home. I think it's time to actually start marrying some of our subjects. I know it said it was a stipulation to not do that, but it was only because... I wanted to be able to name our our people. But if we're the, I think the way it works is if we are the the major partner. Oh god damn it, where the fuck did these guys come from? Jesus Christ. So were these like the Oh, well, okay. So we got an error. Brett. Never mind. So what's the what's the dealio here? It's a she. <laughs> and you're what? The um You're going to be the consort. Okay. So we have the the one mission to actually convert Megrelia. Megrela. So let's get to work on that. Convert. And I'm hoping that's actually one of the provinces that's causing some religious unity problems. Let's actually scroll through here, see if I can find it. There it is. So, nope. Unfortunately not. Wow, that's stupid, man. The fucking French Separatists spawned over here. 
bullshit. I'm gonna keep my one diplomat free because we are gonna go to war with the, this little OPM that's over there. I guess we're gonna have to wait another like month or two before we have enough morale that I feel comfortable attacking these guys. And speaking of that OPM, we are in position here. Very good. And we are actually hitting our 45 minute mark. I'm gonna save my game here, and that's where I call it an episode. You know what's gonna suck is that I'm gonna call it an episode right now, and then I'm gonna start to record another one, and then like four minutes into it, Magicide dies. And then I have like a four minute long video. Oh well, I mean, that's kind of the way we're playing this as far as a succession series. So if I have a four minute long video, well, we're gonna have a four minute long video. I'll see you guys the next time.